WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 12, NASDAQ off 7, S&P's down 2. Bottom line, folks, another sideways market. We've been up here now six days in a row. Gold, gold contract up $8.90, trading at 1472. Get over to that gold market. We take a look at the gold market. What you have inside that market is that right now we have uh, 304,000 contracts, good contract volume. Bottom line is that uh, we are at, uh, well, it's good, 1472. 1472 gets you in the larger range. Now, what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for wide price spread with even more accelerated volume. 304 is not bad. I want to see something up in the 500s. That's when you really know that, uh, guess what? That baby wants to fly. And something that wants to fly, folks, and this is going to be the heads up for the marketplace in general, is the bond market. Uh, bottom line, inside the 10-year as well as the 30-year, they both got back inside their range. They are basically pushing not only with volume, but they got price spread out here today, too. We get the 10-year right now up 14 ticks. You're at 129.10. Anything inside of the 128.16 gets you in the higher range. The 30-year is following right along with this. Bottom line, 30-year right now trading at a price point of 158.18. You got 270,000 contracts. And bottom line, inside the 30-year, 30-year saying that this thing wants to fly to about 165. You know, so bottom line is that you came back to the breakout area. You never made it to the bottom of the breakout area in both the 10-year as well as the 30-year. You had lighter volume and then basically takes off topside once again. That's saying that uh, notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield once again, regardless of what the Federal Reserve is basically saying. King dollar. King dollar down on 194 ticks. You're at 98.177. It's going to get intriguing here. You know, King dollar came off the high of uh, 99.667. Gets down into the 97 area. Did about a 50% retracement off that. You get some pressure on the way down today. As we come into a Friday, I suspect what you're going to see out here is that we are going to see King Dollar to lower price. You're going to see metals to higher price. The real bottom line inside the S&P, NASDAQ, as well as the Dow Industrials. Uh, you're going to see another couple tr sideways trading days. The way the bonds are acting, it's telling me that, yeah, we're going to get a pullback here. Um, bottom line, we'll... We'll see. <laughs> I believe it when we see it. That's the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Next 60-minute trading coming right up.